Hey guys, and welcome back to Blitzkrieg 3. It is Krebsy here with a brand new map. As I said in the last video, I had to upgrade my headquarters, and that would unlock the next tier of things, including a brand new map. And so here we are. And what I'm going to be doing for you guys today is firstly just giving you a quick rundown of what I've done in terms of my uh, fortifications because I spent quite a bit of time actually getting this together. And then we're going to go try raiding somebody because, well, nobody's attacked me just yet. I've got this protection on at the moment, so, ooh, for the next seven minutes. Wow, I spent like 40 minutes building my defenses. Wow. <laughs> Didn't think it would take that long, but okay. So, uh, this is the map. Uh, as you can see, we're just gonna look all around it. It's got three points to uh, go for. One over here, the central base, and then one down here. And this is where the enemy spawns in this location where the uh, herd of cows are. That is the enemy, in fact. We're gonna be getting attacked by cows. I hope that this is enough fortifications to defend against this onslaught of... Uh, of... Uh, Yes, cattle. So, they're gonna spawn in over here. Now, the idea is that uh, I've got a lot of funneling points. I've got two funneling points, one to the north and one to the uh, west over here. And then I've got this big open sort of like marsh area. So, I decided to uh, put basically a large minefield in the marsh area and then put in uh, mingled with those mines some defenses like I've got the initial KV over here supposed to have the most armor so he's gonna be doing a little scouting right at the beginning uh, and chances are he's gonna die straight away but uh, the point of this is just to prevent the enemy right from going right through the middle because I really don't want them going through the middle and so it's heavily defended it's got the uh, mines everywhere, and it's just gonna be really hard for them to even pass through here uh, Unless they have infantry clearing up those mines, and obviously that's not gonna happen with all these defenses You got the tanks at the back uh, Providing cover you've got the mortar emplacements the MGs and whatnot So I really don't think that going through the middle is gonna be a viable option unless they l spend all their artillery uh, in this area and even then it's still probably be hard to pass through because you got the uh, flanking howitzers here and on the side so they're just going to be providing uh, damage at all times and I mean look at the range so their sight is the blue circle and their range is the red circle and you know you look at this one over here it's it's absolutely massive so uh, at all times the enemies are going to be getting pounded whether it's uh they're going up to the north they're going to be getting pounded by this western uh, howitzer and if they start moving up that way then they start getting pounded by this northern howitzer and uh, there's logic to what I've done here so the defenses heading up north is layers upon layers of uh, tank traps so even if they dedicate one artillery strike or two artillery strikes that might not be enough to clear off this entire uh, blockade of structures and and uh, e even if they start progressing through there there's still MG's there's AT guns there's SU-85's there's T-34s at the back and they're all hold down so they're even more difficult to destroy. Even got trenches with some uh, Panzerschreck guys in there. And uh, my actually weakest point is my western flank. If you look at this, I've only got this kind of like, I don't know, two layers of, of uh, tank traps. Whereas here it's like a whole line, you know, it goes all the way up there. Whereas this one is kind of like short and sweet. So this makes me a little bit worried because a well-placed artillery shot maybe right in the middle of the tank traps might even take out all four of them. And uh, what do I have defending? Well, I've got MG uh, bunkers. I've got some hold down tanks, but it still makes me a little bit worried because I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to defend against the enemy. So, so hopefully they don't head down this way. And even if they do, I, I need to see what happens. I need to see what happens. And then we can make amendments in the, in the future. But uh, otherwise, if they go for aircraft, then I've got anti-aircraft situated all around the battlefield. You can see the red circle uh, that it displays in the bottom left. And it's just to prevent any sort of paratroopers getting behind my lines and capping my bases behind my back. You know, that is totally possible. So that's supposed to try to counter that. And if worse comes to worse, they still manage to get guys on the ground. I've got some... Uh, anti-infantry held up in buildings here and in two buildings in fact two squads in two buildings it's just because usually paratroopers come down in single squads so two squads should be enough to counter those paratroopers that's the idea of it anyway so those are those are my defenses and I'm hoping it's gonna hold up uh, I imagine that by the time we do the next video then we're gonna check out some replays of how my defense is fared up but uh, here we go I've got still two three minutes of protection and we're gonna go uh, attack the enemy. Now I'm gonna actually, 
Am I gonna get rid of some of this stuff? Cause I, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this tank thing. Go. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I don't think I can get rid of it. I'm supposed to be. Oh, general tank operations. No, I, I want to be Mr. Plain as bread. Here we go, Mr. Popov. So we're gonna take some accurate salvos. I I don't think this saboteur is good. I I don't know. I have not had any success with him. Probably because I'm using him completely wrong, but. Uh, we're gonna go with Mr. Plano's bread, and this is my forces. Let's go battle. So here we are. This is the map that we're gonna be on. We're fighting against El Tarzan. Nice name. Uh, and it's on the exact same map as the one that we have now. So I'm wondering exactly what he's done. Maybe he's got the same fortifications as me. I don't think so, not at least from what I can see right now. So we're gonna get the half track moving up forward. And what makes me a little bit worried, in fact, is, well, you know how we're at the next tier, right? That means potentially the next tier of enemies. You know, the next tier of units. Uh, and that makes me a little bit worried. Exactly what they might have. So apparently enemy minefield has been spotted, but where? I don't see it. It must be in the trees somewhere. I think that's it? Is that... Do I have a sharp eye? Am I seeing this right? Aha! I do have a sharp eye. It's right there in that tree. I see it alright. I wish the units would sometimes move better. It's like they go in their own direction. So, I see a Bunker. Yeah. And also a Hetzer up there. I've never seen a Hetzer yet. And then he's got all these guys positioned here in the middle. Interesting. Hmm. So, we're going to have to try to devote something to taking out this Hetzer. Yeah, definitely. And also those, those Panzer Shreks. wish we had some snipers. The snipers would help a boatload right now but the question is how are we gonna approach this because if we came through the middle we could shoot the heads in the side but I have a feeling that there's gonna be quite a lot of stuff in the middle so that makes me worried see I don't have to kill any of this anything that's in the red circle uh, is stuff that I have to kill so in order for me to cap the base so I don't have to actually technically kill this stuff but it's still kind of in my way so I kind of have to as well Right, what I think I'll do is I'll go around the side. I just want to scout up ahead, maybe a little bit more. Uh-oh. Get away! Go away! <laughs> I think my half-tracks got it. I'm taking some anti-tank fire from them. But I think overall I should be fine. I think I'm killing them faster than they're killing me. I think. Keep going. That sound sounds so reminiscent of Command & Conquer. I don't know, just something about it sounds so reminiscent of it. And that guy's almost dead, and then we can move up forward. Die, 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 die. Okay, they're gone. Now we can wander through the forest. Right, so we've got a mortar. And also, anti-tank gun placement back here. So we're gonna drop something right in between. I think that's worth an artillery barrage or two. Especially if we can clear out both of them, that would be amazing, but I honestly don't think that my artillery barrages are going to be able to clear them out. Not both of them. It's going to clear out the mortar. Yeah, definitely that. Doesn't do a whole lot in those anti-tank positions, though. That kind of sucks. So I think we'll try... what are we going to try doing? Moving all our tanks down here, maybe? You know what? No. We, uh, I don't know! We need to take out the Hetzer. But I'm gonna lose so many vehicles here. No, 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 no. Re re back, 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 back. Okay, let's try dropping a concentrated mortar barrage. I don't know if this is gonna kill them, but apparently it's good against infantry. Well, that didn't look that amazing, did it? What is that compass? <sighs> Can we get one shell in there? I think I'm literally needing one more shell. You can't see me? Okay, right, we're gonna devote one more barrage. Only because it's awkward, alright? <laughs> right, so the next thing is we're gonna move up the infantry to take out this uh, side AT emplacement. And we'll try to kill these guys as well that are in the trench, and then we can clear out the bunker pretty damn easy. Kinda sucks that I already lost one vehicle, that was way too quick in my opinion. We're really taking our dandy time here, aren't we? There's still base, two more bases to clear afterwards, oh dear. Oh dear me, we gotta be quick. Let's get all the infantry up, 
Please. We're gonna make a mass assault on that uh, position. The AT gun. Those guys can't see me, surely not. Not the uh, bunker. And let's focus fire that AT position. Die, 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 die. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and that's an AT gun. You know what? That warrants... That I'm pretty sure that warrants... Uh, yeah. That's warranted. Look how he's got more up there. In fact, we're going to drop another AT or uh, barrage on top. I'm really surprised that the howitzer does not do more damage to infantry. I know it's not infantry oriented, but still, you'd think it might do a little bit more than that. Alright, so we've got the hetzers that are hauled down, so we can just harass them right into the side. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's in fact get one infantry squad up forward, because I want to see if there's actually anything behind here, just in case. Last thing I want is an enemy. Oh! Ouch. Well, that's one squad gone. And I think that's going to be one more barrage on top of there as well. I don't think we really have to, but... YOLO. Get the SC-85s up. Whoops. Don't need the half track. We're going to try pelting this Hetzer inside. And after he's down and that bunker's down, that should be it. To start capping the uh, enemy base over here. And then hopefully it'll be all uh, downhill from, from that stage. At least that's what I'm hoping. Ow! Oh no. I don't have smoke. Backwards, 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 backwards. Okay, that that he almost that Hetzer almost took out Almost took out my SU eighty five. There will be vengeance. We gotta take out that Hetzer. That's really frustrating. Come on, T thirty fours. It's only a bunker. It's only concrete, it's not steel. It's going, it's going. And we just also got a KV over here. Need to get that upgraded. So that's the bunker down. We could probably even move up the SU-85s now. They'd probably be fine. Uh, but just in case, you never know. We'll just lay some pain down. On the Hetzer. And we'll kill the infantry. Because we can. Okay, let's move down here, then over there. These guys are pretty much dead. That'll be the first zone. In our hands. Woo. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Stage one out of three completed. Still more to go. What is that? Is that... Okay, that's uh, anti-aircraft. That doesn't bother me. It's only anti-aircraft. It's not going to attack anything on the ground. This isn't Company of Heroes. So, what else do we got here? Wow, look at that! My half track's doing work against the AT, or the, uh, not the AT, but the AA. That was really good. I, I wish we had incendiary shells. That would help so much to clear out some of these buildings. Still not too bad. Clear out this one as well. Not that it's really bothering me, but we could just do it just because. We can kill these guys inside the buildings with our vehicles. Where's my KV? We can get that up as well. Infantry, just in general, we'll move up everything. I don't think this is a live opponent, considering just the fact that he's not really doing anything. Like moving up any units or anything, or moving them back. That's fine. Makes this easier for me. Okay, so those guys are cleared out. Everything's cleared out. Let's see if there's anything else. He's also got, what is that? Otto von Bismarck statue. Oh, wow. We're gonna have to destroy that. That's not standing, no way. There shall, shall be no false idols in our newly captured bases. Just focusing down these eight, or our riflemen. They're not really not gonna do anything to my uh, vehicles anyway. Just little bits of damage here and there. 
Okay, they're dead. What's in that building? Oh no! <laughs> I like how they automatically targeted it anyway. It was like an automatic assumption that must die. Okay, fine. So I think what we can do is get the infantry up to take out the AT uh, squad in here. Although, it might be a little bit awkward. Oh no. Backwards, 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 backwards. I don't like the pathing. It's like, if one vehicle's in the way, then they just don't move. Ooh, nice. We can kill that. Oh, but we can't kill that. No way. Okay, let's focus down the guys inside the building. I don't- I still don't know how to charge a building, like get inside of it. I don't. I don't. Unfortunately. It would help so much if I did. But I don't. Come on, guys. What is going on over here? Am I getting shot by something on the side? Please, just kill this one. Oh my gosh. You had one job. Why do I even take you? Why do I even take you guys? You had one job. One job. <sighs> I guess we could charge it. I, there is no, there's not enough time. There's less than five minutes. We just gotta do it. You know what? Don't let your dreams be dreams, guys. Just do it. We can ignore everything in the middle here. That's fine. We can ignore it. It's not gonna stop us from success. Nice, nice shot there, bro. Right over my tank. Come on. Oh no. Yeah, we're down a tank. For some reason, look, because of the pathing, they're still looking, trying to figure out how to get there. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, finally, we got the base. We got the base. The base is ours. Let me select everything. I don't know why we put that guy in there. Get out of there. Not enough time to be taking a break right now. We got less than four minutes. Four minutes on the clock. Somebody just died. I think it was an infantry dude. Take out this bunker really quick, and then we gotta make our way to the east. Uh, but I still want to just scout up ahead. I mean, it's only one more position. How much more can they have, right? Can't be that much more. Surely not. Alright. AT rifles. Facing down towards the south. So we can just roll up behind it. It's not going to do anything. In fact, I could probably even get my half-track up there and that machine gun fire is going to do work. Die. Good. See, we're not taking any damage. Amazing. That's it out. Less than three minutes. Oh boy. Please don't tell me there's any tanks or anything of the sort. We still got stuff that we can use here. So let's put down some artillery on top of this position. And I think, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to roll in everything at once. Less than two minutes and a half. Oh, dear. I'm starting to get a bit worried. And we've got one more tank at the back. All right, so KV up first. You're going to be the spearhead. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. No more time for waiting. And we're going to drop one more artillery barrage on here. My, is that my KV? No, that's my T-34. It's taking an absolute pounding right now. Oh dear. That's not good. Mortar's coming down that building. That's supposed to be anti-infantry related. Ah, uh, God, it just does not... No, what are you guys doing? Oh no, that pathing is so bad. Oh no. That pathing was absolutely atrocious. That was some of the worst pathing I've ever seen in my life. God, guys, just go in a straight line. You know what? I'm gonna have to micromanage here. It's just not. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. Focus this, please. Oh. <sighs> 
Guys, this might be as frustrating for you to watch as it is for me to uh, be going through right now. One minute on the clock, and I still have to kill all the stuff inside the buildings as well. Okay, fine. Everything is just gonna roll up one by one. Die. Now kill the stupid Panzer Shreks inside the house. Now I'm gonna lose another T-34. <sighs> they, they, I'm just, I'm just face palming right now. I'm so face palming. I just can't even describe it. Okay, die. I don't think there's enough time. Look at the KV go. You KV stupid. KV so stupid. Oh man. I can't believe it. Less than 10 seconds. That pathing, man. See, what I want is them to go, like, in a line into a place, you know, to make room for each other. But instead, what they're doing is, like, okay, one will stop, and then the others, because they uh, can't get around that one vehicle, then they'll just g have to go elsewhere. Now I'm just getting barraged by artillery. Till my death. That sucks. That is so not fair. That is so not fair. It's the most frustrating controls that you can ever work with. So basically you have to micromanage everything and move it in one by one. Like click something and then place it down over there. Click something and place it down elsewhere. Ugh. That sucked. Okay, so I earned some resources. I can actually upgrade stuff. I can buy things, but I'll do that off camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed that for what it was worth. Kind of frustrating. <laughs> but uh, yeah, until the next video, this is Krebs, and I'll catch you guys next time.